So now we're done with um, losing weight, obviously. So uh, we, didn't, we don't want to do any more of that because um, now we're trying to build muscle. That's what we're trying to do. Um, so we're done with um, the weight loss. So now the next step, when I get back to Manila, my trainer and I, Arnold and Inyon, will um, concentrate more on developing muscle. Right, right. Yeah. And it, what was the most hardest challenge for you while you were doing this 90 day challenge in itself was there was it the food that you missed was it just uh uh just going to the gym or what what was the biggest challenge for you, you know, during this whole time it, it entering this challenge really turned my world upside down because everything was difficult you know the food i i, I used to eat so uh, like the 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 unhealthiest things and the schedule like i became a morning person instead of a nightlife guy so everything kind of changed and i really had to make all those choices and really had to be you know i really had to make all those hard decisions for it to happen yeah and what did, what did your brother say i mean to see you know every you know he's always been in that fit mode and now you're like really there did he say anything to you did you guys get to talk about it or anything like that well, Chard was really supportive. He's actually been very supportive for you know all my endeavors, and he guided me along the way. He would give me advice, and now what's fun is that we can actually work out together and do activities together and travel together without me feeling like I'm you know holding him back or like I'm falling behind. So now we can actually work out together, and it'll be fine. Right, right. And then the rest of your family, your mom, your dad, and your sisters, or uh, how do, how did they take that? Now they saw your big transformation also. Well, I knew I was doing something right when my sister started working out. So she would text me. She's like, Mon, I'm so inspired by you. Guess who's in the gym again? So now she goes to the gym every day, and it's becoming like our family hangout. So in our family chat, they would be like, hey, guys, see you at the gym at 3 p.m. Or like, you know what I mean? So it's, it's becoming like a family gathering to go to the gym and work out, which is cute because, you know, I've kind of inspired all of them to start working out again. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. That's pretty. And then tell us... Um, you know, of course, Filipino food and all that is really, uh, every, it's not the healthiest, but yeah. is there a certain food item that you really miss that you don't have anymore or that you maybe eat during a cheat day or something like that? Um, well, during the 90 day challenge, I didn't have a cheat day. But, you know, one of the biggest shocks when people are like, oh, how, do you still eat rice? And I'm like, no, I don't eat rice anymore. So that's a huge thing for a lot of Filipinos. But, you know, you really have to cut down on the carbs if you want to transform yourself. And, you know, especially if, if you want to do it this drastically. Right. Yeah. I mean, give, us a, give us a little uh, a day in the life of, of uh, your food intake and then also your, your workout regimen. So I would wake up at 6 in the morning and by 7 a.m. I would meet up with my friends and we would be doing cardio. So that's before breakfast. Uh, we would do sprints or a run and, um, you know, I would meet up with them and it became kind of our group hangout um, to run together. And then after that, we would have breakfast together. Um, usually my breakfast consists of salmon or tuna um, and some vegetables and um, sweet potato, which is kamote. Yeah. And yeah, and then avocado, almonds, um, and then coffee, obviously. And then for lunch, I would have maybe a tuna salad, um, just a salad and then chunks of century tuna on top, something easy and, you know, filling at the same time. And then for dinner, I'd probably have like a, you know, a salmon, a, a salmon steak or something like that. Yeah. So, so no meat for you or mostly like no a, no well, meat. so are you, are you a vegetarian now or are you a pescatarian? Yeah, I'm pescatarian. So I stopped eating beef um chicken and pork oh, yeah so that whole filipino the lechon is gone right i know it's it's gonna be tough it's gonna be tough but you know i'm kind of getting used to it and you know there's so many dishes out there and you know you have so many options nowadays and it's really up to you if you research enough you'll find really good ingredients and really good food so and what, do you, what would you say to somebody that that's been wanting to lose weight they've they've gone on to different uh weight loss programs or whatnot what would you say to somebody to encourage them to to take that next step and really, really go for it? You know, it's all about your determination. How bad do you want it? Do you really want this to happen? Because I could have easily given up in halfway and said, oh, I've lost 10 pounds. That's enough. But, you know, I really wanted to, to be healthy and fit and really see how far I could take it. And even now, up to this day, I don't still consider this done. You know, my 90 day challenge might be done, but this is not done. Like I'm going to as soon as I get back to Manila, it's going to be, you know, the same kind of energy that I had that, um, you know, it's part of my life now. So so that's really what what this is all about. And for me, if you if you really want it bad enough, it's all in your head. So 
um, stop the excuses, break all those excuses, and just make time for it. And then this last two questions, just to uh, what what's what's coming up with you, for you in your uh, upcoming projects? Anything that you can talk about or mention? So we are. When I get back to Manila, we're filming the fifth season of our e-reality series on e-Asia, which is It Takes Guts to Be a Gutierrez. So we're, we'll be filming our fifth season. And uh, we're also discussing a possible season two for It Girls, which I directed for e-Asia as well. Yeah. And, then, and then lastly, any plans to be more of a, 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 a model now or whatnot? <laughs> or sh even with the shirtless? I mean, yeah. we've, we saw the, the pictures, you know, especially see the big transformation yeah. with your... Uh, with just your whole whole body yeah. and stuff, do you see yourself getting into that into that mm, point of modeling, or you no. no 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 no? There's no no modeling for me, just Insta modeling, but not real modeling, just on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs>